So whether or not actually dubstep will be rewarded. As Nats removed. First piece off the board here. Actually Shados will respond. Can we get the plant though? Wits here is actually going to try and get ahead of the curve here. We'll find a kill as well. Conical will fall. Lovely timing with the drone coming out as well, just working in unison. And Wits is putting on a show already oh, no. down to Defo and Redgar. Spike is down, but so is the Diffuse coming in halfway. Now Players achieved. Standing. Jesse on the swing and Redgar, he ain't got nothing to say. Team Secret are going to get pumped up. And the reason I'm excited and the reason that I'm going to push this above where I normally would. Get proactive, get in their face. Now Nats might be the undoing of this, but he gets checked on. Dubstep with the rifle, slices through Nats. They can fall away. The paranoia in Gambit's mind is going to be unbearable. And it's like this, if they're able to consistently address the back line of Gambit, especially with things like that, this could be interesting here. <laughs> Again, Gambit on the attack. Previously, there were a lot of questions around that with some shaky performances, but all that thought for the time being is the wall will be invested here on the Shade Shados over the top on the first, but Red Guard will fall. This damage. This is a lot of damage. It should. <laughs> This is still finding yeah. Shados. This is down to two. Chronicle and Defo, this would be the rude awakening. This is the danger round to start with, really. But there's Defo trying to kind of keep control, the safe pair of hands. But the rifle still into Spencer's hand. Keep that in the back of your minds. A tap on the spike brings Chronicle in for the swing. Which finds one. Oh, my oh, word! Right. They've done it. They've converted the bonus with proactive play, taking space. All the things we outline, Hypoc. This is like a caster's dream. I, ca I can't stress it enough. They did everything we want to see. Uh, absolutely. Uh, and this is the first opportunity where we see Gambit, you know, the strength. Coming out, but look at the buy. Top step, though. Instantly going to pop the knives, head on down towards mid confidence. Now starting to boom, and maybe not so rightly so. Defo just swats him out the air. A comfortable pickup for him there. Spike now down, and this is the rude awakening. Welcome to the Iron Giant of Gambit. They don't need the full buy right now. They're happy enough to meet you in this kind of unorthodox play style. Poison's off. Sure, actually, a couple of weird. Head to head here. Walkoon will fall, but actually, which gets a better of Nats up in kitchen here. Could be an opportunity. It's 2v4. Again, look for a way back in here. You're going to find Defo as well. So, Shados, got to be careful. Jesse back on his feet now as well. Yeah, but time, it's a huge factor in this. They really need to get going if they want to chance in it, and that's going to be a big denial by Shados. Now down to one. The last two do look <laughs> a little weaker around the edges, but the time is everything in this matter. Spencer tries to do what he can. Hey. Yes! He'll clean up the frags, but the round will be Gambit's. Everybody falls. Okay, I'll still take the space. Be able to hear a couple of audio cues, still be able to post up on this. And actually, Dispenser's look for a new way forward, and the timing's everything. If he gets it right, but it is just that 50-50, if he crests the corner at the right time, and actually, again, still being checked on, has to slip away, and Jesse's found Defo. And again, this gives away the game. They've got to know this is either a mid or an A piece because they still have that player pushed up towards B long. And this is beautiful work off. from Team Secret. I can't stress it enough. Nats, yes, does slip the net. He does find one. And there's still fire in the belly. But it is a 3v2. The weaponry is still superior for Gambit as well. Alt now invested too. But Dobset finds Chronicle. And Nats now once again on the island. Gets himself a way forward. Finds one. Dips back in. He might have noted no another. Way, He's got to know what's going on here. Tries to go for the jump peak. Needs to swing it. The swing ain't good enough. Dubstep finds him. Op still remains now. And they have, I guess, Nats again watching the flank, but they have very little idea of what's behind the curtain. But this is the thing, though. With Nats positioned here, I don't think Secret go near him again for another few rounds. No, they don't they want to leave that paranoia. Actually, as I say, that Shados will find an opening. Jesse falls. And but again, we'll pause for a moment. See if there's any pivot back on the oh. side as Redgar finds a fantastic kill, though. That's a, that is the gamut you need. Fight as the collective. They managed to dissemble that pretty Fight hefty planted. lean towards eight. That was three players well positioned, and their patience pays off. It pays dividends. That's the experience of Gambit you want to start seeing come through. It's actually quite impressive to be able to make a play like that towards the site when there is a stack there that's fully read you, pretty much. It's very well done by Gambit, showing their strength even when you feel like you know what they're up to. I guess, character-wise, this is a little more typical from what we expect from Gambit. Like I said, yep. coming back to that methodical approach. However, we are back on the way. Now, Gambit doing somewhat of a similar piece, but it looks a little bit more pacey to him. Yeah, and you see straight away, Wits is going to back away deep towards the left side of Rafters, at least looking Ooh, that's up different. in dubstep. We'll find this pick again. But Nats was... Wait, he was a bit more proactive this time. Nats was a little... Tube with this wall once again. Wow, okay, okay. This is where things go different because Nats was pretty much the saving grace of the back line. However, this time, Team Secret hit these rotations a little bit better, a little bit quicker, a little bit more prepared. And Gambit are in pieces! A 6-1!
again, a similar look, and if they're aware of these half by plays, they should be aware of this. However, Red Card does at least get one, so that's going to be entryway towards that B site. Now, there are two players who were pushed up, though, towards B long, so this isn't clean. This is a really weird fight to be having. Nats with the overwhelm, though, is good enough to at least shut down the Spencer. This now puts... Okay, <laughs> no pressure on Dubstep, apparently. Dancing. There we go, lovely stuff from Gambit. That's what you want to see. Keep it a little safe, keep it a little bit under wraps. But this is the round that they won before, basically. Yeah, it was <laughs> actually Spike making his way all the way over towards A here. Bit of a ruse. Jesse still towards B site, and now that's some defo will peel away. Now, the important thing is, again, just at the start of this round here, it's kind of the checklist. It's the protocols you look towards for Secret. Again, Jesse joining up. He's, he's there to catch anything coming through mid, and Defo actually ultimately hopping up on top of Tube. Now, the problem being, previously with this split, with a very fast round from Gamma, I want him out of yep. that drone quicker. Uh, yeah, again, you can see sure. Redgar finds that opener. Uh, what's the value in finding the second tag, right? You're confirming what you already Five know, planted. which is there's one top tube. By that point, they're already under. So sure. that's something I want to see Secret address, but it, it's good to see Jesse in a similar position and, again, running those same kind of discipline protocols I'm referring to. It's not out of it yet. It is a 1v3, and they've got some upgrades. And that's with the big one. First contact made. Still a player towards the site, though. And that'll be found. Shados gets at least the rifle as well. ...of dubstep and wits over towards A. And the first time we've seen him actually get a little bit aggressive. One towards Belt, one on Pipes. They're looking for this early pick now. Nats will be called upon. But he is, he, he's meant to be made for this, right? But they've oh, read him so well. Like a book, like a book. They bought the limited edition, the collector's edition. They got all the, the artwork <laughs> and everything, mate. They've got it all. But this isn't enough. They now know everything. Oh, it's no all way, been given man. away. No way. Deep Down. secret. They have read every That's single secret. The Gambit may think they have. Any card up the sleeve has been ripped down as now Defo and Chronicle are like, wait, wait, what? We were holding a default and now we're just getting wrapped in on as well. They, the, 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 the book's being shot. This round's done for. I, 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 I am taken aback by Team Secret right now. It, it is, spike. and the problem is that every round looks like a new set of obstacles for Gambit to overcome. Yes. This is the first time borkum has been called upon on B-Main. And when he goes huge, he slips underneath the drone there and was re rewarded with two Good kills ball. on Chronicle. One constellation, but dubstep again. And, and look at it. Four. Its players are here on that other side. Three, heavy lean, mid take, ultimate down. Defo with a quick dismantling though, as two fall in back-to-back -back succession, as the Spencer is now needed. And, and Shados with the Shados, re yeah. beak on that. They look, I'm going to be honest, they look pissed at this. They look they angry. Yeah, these are tilt peaks. <laughs> these are kind of, that arrogance kind of comes into it in terms of the play style here. Up step, operator on rafters. Let's swing out here. Shados again, still trying to apply the pressure here. We'll find Jesse. Got three members left of secret here, and that's two snake bites, but actually Defo will fall here. Shados again will find another. That's up there on the X-ray. And now I think Gambit going to try and slow things yeah. down. But Shados now is fourth on the round, Lord. Dubstep. You have to consider saving that operator, but Shados close enough. It could be the ace here. It could be absolutely what the doctor ordered for Gambit. A, a, a more but I want to see a quicker address on it, or they play on a heavier retake. Playing in like that towards Gambit is going to give them the gateway to open up to the Kingdom. Chronicle with a quick one towards Dubstep as well. This is looking very likely as Shados is going to be feeling confident enough to lean a bit further forward, make those audio cues, and then fall away just a touch. Spike going to be planted, and now down to three to try and play it back in. See, so yeah, really, if Secret want to entertain this at all, you see Borkum's covered that operator <laughs> yeah with what we're seeing on the minimap looking like they might want to retreat away from yep. this and <laughs> again <laughs> if we could just play back that clip from the gambit timeout I, I think this is the byproduct right it's like guys get your head in the what game are you doing? come on what yep. are you doing now whether or not we see them just lean towards this now because you've got to expect They're some sort of adjustment weapons. for secret whether well, actually they're really chasing Borkums are way closer Ooh. than you'd hope at now just at the end of two, but again, potentially, it's a, it's a 5v2 here on A-side. Confirmation all they've really had is Chronicle and I guess Shados in, in that regard. Now with the ult invested, that does change the dynamic. They need to kind of invest in oh, this, and no that's where they find that. What they have! Oh, dubstep from up above! Rains hell upon Defo, and now the spike's been denied, at least for the plan. Dispenser plays back in, and they've come and found the Player pace standing. they needed. Wits holds his nerve, and it's Chronicle all down to you now. What are you going for us? 
within our region <laughs> in, in terms of expectations. All so. right. Well, look, the expectation, I don't know. Managed or not, it's Wits to start it off with a bang. Already going to get that first pick, and that's going to be Shados. Pretty much dealt with him. What a player to find. Especially with the last few rounds he had on attack as well. Dispenser is going to throw up the wall here. It's going to split Defo away. Ooh. Again, actually, Defo finds both Spike here. Down. He's going to find a third. He's going to re-explore towards the B main. Actually, will find it. Yeah, this man's on a mission, and if it ain't going to be Shados, it'll be him. Defo is still going to be doing what he can. He's got the boys by his side. Do they overdo standing. this? No, not for now. It is just dubstep. Left in, what, a 1v3 spike down, basically, in Narnia. He's going to have to find a wardrobe to just jump through or something at this point. And already the Aldrone. Can he dip around it? Let's see if he can do some dodge. Yes, beautiful. Oh. Ah, there we go. It was, it was a lovely attempt. And now there's a whole lot of players looking your way. Gambit strike back hard in the first round. Thanks. That's in the surface, at least. And here we go. This is the round that really can kind of set things off. And Defo's going to do it well. Going to find dubstep and then fall back, ally. force the res. And already they're still trying to work forward on the Shados as well. Right there. He's not backing away. He is not being passive on this. He wants the fight. And they're going to just Alter for a oh. second, takes one, backs it, but it's Wits with the trade. That's now up, lost in the sight as well. Shados, he's actually going to spin up towards heaven. He wants to get there quick, but there's a player lingering just down below. Going to take that space and take site control. Spike should be able to be planted. I don't think anything's going to deny that now. Spike planted. And now we're in the post plant. Oh, actually, you got two members of Gamba actually walking towards the back lines here. Redgar and Nat. Potentially challenged Dubstep in his position, but he finds the first headshot now. Red Guard solo HP. Look at the damage on him. Dubstep did so much on the first peak. The second almost felt like it's a done. given. Shados and Chronicles 5 HP. Get out of there. You know you're going to have to. 5 HP is not enough to be lingering around on you. You want to keep these rifles. You want to give yourself the best chance going forward. He's to quietly back away. Do not give away audio cues or anything else. But, well, can we just take a second to appreciate this? Team Secret just went, do you remember those eight hits you were doing to us? Mate, we can do them too. Yeah. That's crazy. Standing. Uh, and the difference being, uh, again, it's that double duelist set up on the side of Gambit. So it's wait, 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 they've lost both the oh, rifles. Okay. Overzealous, but right now he is needed. But again, though, the adjustment here, Redgar's here to kind of slow down these uh -oh. these hits from Secret, but look it's at not going to do anything. No, Shados and Redgar fall immediately. Michael, what are you doing? Oh, okay, he's doing that. Takes one and now slips away into the night. Tries to back away and not overstep. I got a little worried. If he was on his own trying to make moves, but the spike's going down. Can't deny it. And now into the post plant 3v3. Spencer here. Come on, have a little peek through and actually will find it. <laughs> Secret are just hitting everything right now. Therefore, on the way back in, we'll find Wits. A 2v2 presented here. Nats on the drop down. Clears below, but not completely. Does find Dispenser, tries to find the next step, but Jesse playing to just deny this step out. Does spot at least one. Finds Defo now, now, now knows what's up. Again, get your gun out, Jesse. Here no we way, go. It's man. 12 on the board. Team Secret tearing down Gambit. Match I'm. Point. I'm ready. I'm all aboard the Team Secret train. Let's get going. Dubstep dispenser. They've let's back up now. Leave Dubstep a little disconnected. Actually, looks like he will regroup. I thought potential for him to go down mid, but be site wide open right now. No Viper utility committed on the side of Borkum, so they have the opportunity here. This cut and dry piece towards B. Nat's still alive. One away from the Viper's pit now. Reactionary ultimate potential here if he can find this first kill. 30 seconds left. Let's see here if he's checked the bottom. Welcome to my world. Ultimate festive. Shados on top. Gets a fight, loses it. Dubstep gets him. That's We're down to three. Uh... <laughs> Spike goes in. First fight comes out. Nat's going to pick up the pace. Going to pick up two bodies you on the way as well, but loses his life. Ally. Red's now invested as well. Coming out from Dispenser. Going to get that Viper back on their feet. But now we do have a little bit of a scrappy battle, to say the least. Defo yeah. and Redgar, what can you do, though, to break those back lines to get back into this one? That spike is ticking away as Redgar going to lean a little further Impossible. forward. Does isolate Dispenser. Forces the swing out of one. Trade comes out. It's going to be down to just Jesse again. Up against Defo. But the spike, the time is still so favorable here towards Secret. Time being born. Players being toyed with Jesse. All he's got to do is play this correctly. Backs away, buys some time. That's he's it. breaking Defo's heart. He can't do anything about it. He knows it's done. Give it up. Game one, map one. Team Secret off to an incredible Attackers start. Win. I'm at a loss here for words.